today I wanted to make one of my favorite sauces. I make this often, so I like to make it in batches. It goes great on anything. Specifically, I do enjoy this drizzled over some vegetables or chicken. Perfect. It is my lemon, garlic, shallot, and thyme sauce. I'm still working on a name. The things you will need are chicken stock, shallots, garlic, lemon zest, lemon juice. Actually, I'm just gonna pop that in here. Thyme and a cornstarch slurry that I just made up. This will be used later and that's it. It's very simple, very flavorful, just with this stuff. Ugh, it's so delicious. So let's get started. In my skillet here, I have a couple of tablespoons of olive oil on a medium heat. To start this off, we're going to saute up our shallots, break them all up. You can't be together. No, separate. Salt and pepper. been going for a minute or so and they're starting to get kind of crispy so I turn the heat down to a medium low-ish. I kind of like them crispy but if you want to really sweat them out use a low heat on this if you don't want any color. Into here I'm gonna put the garlic. Give this a good toss around. You can cook this just for maybe a minute you want the garlic to get the slightest bit of color. Ooh, these shallots are making me cry. The garlic is starting to brown some, so we're gonna stop it from cooking. I'm gonna put in my chicken. Give this a little stir around. Raise the heat again to about a medium. You want this to come up to a boil. This is smelling very delicious. That lemon juice was also added in with that chicken stock. So if you're keeping it separate, add in the chicken stock and the lemon juice at this point. I'm going to put in about half of the zest. Mm, this smells so good. And wait for this to come up to a boil. I'm just gonna let it boil away, reduce down just a little bit before we add the slurry. This has been going for a couple of minutes. It has reduced down ever so slightly. You just wanna really try to concentrate those flavors. Before we add the slurry, all you have to do is make sure it's boiling. I'm gonna add this to the mixture and it should almost instantly start to thicken. Look at that, it's already thick. With slurries, when they're added, you want to add them and make sure it comes back up to a boil and then you're pretty much set, good to go. Now that it's boiling, I'm going to add the thyme and the rest of my lemon zest. This is now done. It is thick and glossy. I'm gonna take it off the heat. And that is all she wrote. As this cools, it's gonna to continue to thicken up a lot. So just keep that in mind when you store this in the fridge and you wanna use it the next day or later on that day like I'm going to. It might be kind of jelly because of that cornstarch, but it is so flavorful and just silky. <sighs> this is the good stuff. When you want to use this again, if you're storing it, if you're not using it right away, just heat it back up in a pan or just microwave it for a little bit. It'll loosen right back up to where it was and you can top whatever with it. I love this on vegetables like roasted broccoli or asparagus, Brussels sprouts. Oh, it's great on everything. And I really like it over some, maybe some breaded chicken cutlets with some pasta. It's perfect. Make this, you'll enjoy it. Everyone you make this for will enjoy it. Guaranteed. Bon appetit.